Aloha, friends. I am here to share with you guys my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, go-to apple uh, pie recipe. Now, with this recipe, of course, you can use uh, your own homemade um, pie crust. But for me, uh, I don't really have the time. So I do love to get my uh, pie crust over at Trader Joe's. I think the pie crust over at Trader Joe's has a very nice flaky um, consistency when you, um, when you bake it for um, all sorts of uh, pies. Now they have a new packaging over at Trader Joe's. Now it comes into this flat um, box before it used to be just the regular um, like rectangle box. But there is two pie crusts in here. Um, I keep it into the refrigerator overnight, and then once I'm ready to bake, it does need to come out into the counter for about 30 minutes to an hour, so it's nice and um, and soft to work with. And this um, apple pie is so easy as well because it, um, could, um, it has very minimal ingredients. So it calls for one stick of butter, which I have in here in a little nice saucepan. And then I'm gonna have an egg for once I put the, the crust um, over the second uh, pie crust. I'm gonna do an egg wash with that. And then it's going to have a little bit of lemon, just um, a quarter uh, size of a, a lemon if you have it, just to make sure that the, um, the apples kind of doesn't turn um, brown on you. And, and then it just adds that little bit of a zest flavor in there. I like to use um, baking apples. So I have an apple tree. Maybe I'll insert the picture in here. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was still good. So I just opt not to use the apples for my apple uh, apple tree. Those needs to just be picked and, and thrown away. I just waited way too long to be able to just harvest another, um, another um, bucket or a few buckets of apples uh, to make apple pie. So I was too busy with that. So though I feel so bad when my apples just turn into the... Um, the the trash bins the compost pile but i'm using granny smith today this is organic granny smith apples from um trader joe's i've used uh this as well before i'll usually use all the big bags this is like 2.99 for a bag but i've used anything that's kind of crunchy and tarty i've also used before like honey crisp apples that works as well so whatever baking apples you got that has like a crunch uh and sour uh, texture to it you're gonna need a little bit of water usually i put in like maybe four three to four tablespoons of water um some cinnamon depending on if you are a cinnamon fan or not which i am and the family is so you're gonna need about one to two teaspoon of cinnamon you're gonna reserve half of that teaspoon to put onto your cut up apples uh, when you um, put some uh, lemon in there. Sprinkle, uh, sprinkle it with a little bit of, um, of cinnamon as well. And then you are going to need about three quarters cup of white sugar along with about four tablespoons of brown sugar. And then you are going to need about maybe three to four tablespoon of flour. If you don't have flour, you can definitely use um, cornstarch. But with the cornstarch, you only need about one to two tablespoons of that. So half the size of the, um, the, the flour if you're using a cornstarch. And that's it. So I'm going to show you guys how I mix up my, my apple uh, filling first. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and start cooking up my, um, my flavoring first for my apples. And then I'm going to wash my apples and start peeling them. All right, I have my uh, one stick of butter in there. Now I'm going to put in about three to four tablespoon of my flour or one to tablespoon of cornstarch. Once that is in there, you do have to consistently mix it. If you have a whisk, you can definitely use that, but I like to use this big um, spoon for doing this because, because the whisk, it turns to get thicker and then um, it clumps up onto the whisk for me. You're going to do this for about a minute until you get like a nice thick consistency. You're basically cooking that flour in there and you're going to, it's going to um, act as a thickening agent for our apple, apple pie. By doing this, it actually makes your apple pie filling more, um, more thick rather than it being runny. I used to cook my apple pie fill, um, make my apple pie filling of not cooking the the butter first and the flour, and then the filling would be very uh, very runny. This is the same process that I do for like blueberry pies when I put blueberry during the summertime. So once that's in there, I'm gonna get my three or three tablespoon of water again. 
whisk it. So I just added my brown sugar in there, mixing it really well. And then I turned down the heat and then I'm gonna add my cinnamon. Once I added the brown sugar, I went ahead and added the white sugar as well. Like I said, three quarters of a cup and then all we're gonna do is just mix this together and then cook it for just about a minute. Um, I reserved some of the cinnamon for my sliced um, apples. And you can really smell it already. Already it smells like apple pie filling. All right, friends, there you go. It's been cooking for about um, almost a minute. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove. By cooking it this way, you're actually creating like a caramel, almost like a caramel um, a base to your um, to your sliced apple. So I really like my apple pie this way. All right, I'm going to let this cool and start peeling my apples. If you have an apple peeler, definitely use an apple peeler. Or if you have like a like a melon um, melon baller, um, just use that as well. All I do is just cut it in fourths. Use that um, that little spoon to just take out the center of that apple, or even just um, cutting it with a knife, and then um, slice it. You don't want to slice it too thin because you don't want your apple slices to be mushy. So I like to my um, I like mine to be like a quarter of an inch kind of thickness. So I think that's a good consistency. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up all these apples and place them into this bowl. All right, I peeled all the apples. That was about nine small um, Granny Smith apples that was in that bag from Trader Joe's. It was just like $2.99. So if you're using uh, large apples, I'd probably use about six or, um, or seven. I have the leftover uh, cinnamon. This is about half or three quarters of a teaspoon. And then um, some lemon juice. Okay, this is about what? One to two teaspoon. Okay. And then like I said, we love cinnamon into this house. So it's always a request to add just a little bit more cinnamon. And so I just have uh, some, ex um, some cinnamon in here and I'm just gonna add some extra uh, drizzle. Okay. And then I'm gonna mix that all together. Okay. Mix it really well, make sure that juice is all covered into those apples. All right, that is um, well mixed with the cinnamon and the lemon. I went ahead and got my egg, beat it a little bit, and then here's my, um, my brush to do an egg wash on top of the crust. And then the butter, um, cinnamon, sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, and flour that I cooked over the stove is now cooled. I'm gonna add that into here and then mix it well added that on top and then I'm now I'm just gonna basically mix it all in there make sure that um, all those um, apples are covered into that nice um, cook filling when you have store-bought uh, pie crust it's very important that you don't work with it frozen um, like I said this was overnight into my refrigerator and it's been out into the counter now for about an hour to an hour and a half so it's very soft if it is frozen even <laughs> It does say do not microwave, but I've worked with this exact pie crust um, from Trader Joe's. I just put it into the microwave for like 10 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds, no more than that. Um, if, it, <laughs> if it becomes necessary, but um, always try to just have it out into the countertop. As you guys can see, it's very, very soft right now. Pinch, like if there's any like kind of imperfection. I kind of just uh, make sure your hands are clean, of course, and kind of pinch it together um, to make the, the crust stay into like a nice shape, okay? So this is my pie um, ceramic, like what, pie plate. So I'm just gonna gently put it over that and then um, crimp the, the edges. The pie crust, when it's so soft like this, is um, I kind of half folded it or tri folded it um so then i just placed it on top and then unrolled one and then unrolled the other and then while i'm working it around i still have the plastic um uh, layer on top of it to just still work the crust it doesn't have to be perfect but as long as you get it in there then it's um nice and um nice and perfect for your pie see and then what we can do is just the other one, knowing that there's um, extra on these two sides, then I'm going to have the extra on these two sides so that it covers because there's it's all about the 
uh, the edges of the crust for the family. They love thick um, edge crusts, okay? So I'm just gonna have, just work it and kinda crimp it up together. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's overlapping, then kinda just pinch it. And now, I think the best part of this recipe, like I said, is cooking the, the filling because now you can really smell um, the apple pie. It's not even the, in the oven um, yet and you're already smelling baked apple pie. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here and then I'm gonna use the other pie crust to cover that, okay? All right, there's the apple pie, all the filling and everything. So now I'm just gonna get the other pie crust and put it over with the same um, technique as I did for the uh, for the bottom bottom um, pie crust. Oh, okay. I kind of worked it up a little bit, kind of shaped it into the um, the shape of my pie dish. I'm gonna peel that plastic, and it really helps out when you leave the the plastic on because you can easily move the the crust because it is so soft. You can see that there's the butter of that um, that crust. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna like bring it up from the edge because it, it is overlapping the edge a little bit. I think it's perfect. I like this um better than the the other one, the, um, the other Trader Joe's pie crust where it was in a rectangle. It being flat like this, it's very easy. Uh, to work with Egg wash i got a cookie sheet just to make sure so it doesn't make a mess in my oven i'm gonna bake it for about 40 to 50 uh, minutes uh somewhere around there okay all right just keep an eye on it i cannot wait all right our apple pie is ready now a nice little trick that i do also like five minutes before i take it out when i'm noticing that the the crust is actually getting really nice and brown i'll go ahead and put a foil over it so not to burn the edges this is a perfect pie look at that you know it's cooked because it's like oozing out right there and look at the nice uh, brown color because of that um, egg wash so another tip do not cut into it it just came out of the oven let it sit for at least an hour um, and then go ahead and cut it enjoy it with ice cream or whipped cream oh it's going to be heavenly look at that all right, I'm gonna wait until this cools and then we'll cut into it. All right, I cut uh, one piece so I can show you guys what the inside of that pie looks like. As you guys can tell, look at that. It's nice and thick on the inside so it's not um, runny. Perfect apple pie. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. As always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!